everybody. Y'all know who it is. It's your girl, Kiki, in the house, the host of The Community Spotlight. Y'all know, you got to check us out. Look, today we have an amazing, exciting show, and we're going to jump right into it because y'all know how I do. I do not keep y'all waiting long. This guest is my friend and my client, but most of all, my friend and she is making some amazing moves in Charlotte. Y'all probably have seen her. Y'all have followed her. Y'all probably even have signed up with her and her team. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. She's doing some amazing things in the community. We're going to jump right in and y'all to do, introduce y'all to my girl, Miss Star. Hey. Hey, girl. <laughs> so, first of all. Yes, yes, welcome yes. Welcome to the Community Spotlight. <laughs> so well. excited, Look, so excited. Tell us, tell our family, introduce yourself first of all, tell them who you are. So first of all, my name is Star Broadus. I am originally from Maryland, but now I am down here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Been down here for about seven years. And what it is that I do is I change lives. So I help people with their finances, meaning all of those things that you have on your credit, your medical bills, student loans, bankruptcies, I can help you with those items. So we are out here, I have a huge team in Charlotte, putting people in houses, in cars, and just giving you that chance to start all over. So we are killing it out here. And also if you're interested in making some additional income, then I can also help you with that as well. So I'm so excited to be here and just out here changing lives one day and credit report at a time. So I'm excited. You know, to give back to the community and just help people. So thank you for having me. Want to definitely give it back to you. <laughs> you are so welcome. I'm happy to bring you on because right now we have this thing going on in our community in the society period of just trying to rebuild their lives. We have right. people trying to rebuild their lives and together, and it's hard when we're trying to do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the avenues you can give to people to just tell them about getting their finances together and their credit God, together yeah. where, do, where does it start god yeah and i think that's the main um that's one of the main problems because they always say confused people do nothing right. so most people don't know exactly what to do it gets overwhelming you see so much debt you see all the different things on your credit report and you just don't know what to do and a lot of people also try to do it themselves but the analogy we always use is you can go to court and defend yourself you can change your own car oil if you want to but sometimes you just have to give it over there's only so much that we can do on our own with credit and negative items that we have trying to get back in order so that's where we come in and we offer credit repair services and it comes with other things as well so if a person is interested in really buying that house or car that they want it is hard to do on your own there's more than 43 million Americans that have bad credit eight out of ten people have bad credit so it's not something you can just write a letter and take care of so I would suggest not only because I'm in the business but I would suggest credit repair because we know the wording and we know exactly what to say so just take that time out and just reach out for help make sure you do you know your homework first a lot of people have went through other companies and other people that said that they were going to do things and they didn't deliver so that's what I love about us we offer you know a lot of satisfaction guarantees and you just know that we are official so I would say you know you have to take yourself out of it it's not one of those things that you can just do yourself and just send a letter so Reach out for help. Credit repair is just one of those things you have to reach out. You cannot do it yourself. True. I Look, feel. I, I, I feel. I, I'm in accounting <laughs> classes, and I, 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 don't, I dibble and dabble in my monies. But when is it where it's a good sign to say, get help? When, when do people need to know, look, get help? It's important to be able to say, I need some help. I've come to a point in time that I can't do this no more. Like, this is hard. Paperwork coming in, I'm going over my free credit report, and I'm looking at all this debt, and I'm trying to figure it out. And the first thing we're told is pay your highest bill off. Right. Pay your highest bill. Go handle this. And then when you pay your highest bill off, pay your next bill off. Right. When does the shenanigans stop? Because this gets overwhelming. It does. 
And so once again, when people are confused and people don't know what to do, then they do nothing and they just leave it. So I say this, go on to, you know, go onto the website. There's a lot of free websites. You can also go to your bank and there's different places, uh, free annual credit uh, score.com. I say get your credit score. And if your credit score is low, then that is a sign that you need to get on it. You don't want to wait until it's time for you to move. You don't want to wait until the motor drops out of your car. You don't want to wait until you apply for a job or a cell phone or anything that you need credit for because then it's too late. So I would suggest when you ask me as far as when is a good time to get started on it, pull your credit report today and you want to be proactive. Don't wait until you need it because then it's too late. So check your score, see what your score is. If you're in the fours, you're in the fives, you're in the sixes, you need to start this like last year. Seven is a decent score. Eight is a good, you know, so seven's considered a good score. Eight is excellent. And now nine is just perfect because now the credit score, you know, range goes up to nine. So check your score. If your score is in those four, fives, or sixes, that is a sign that you need to get started as soon as possible and do it now so when you need it, you already have it. So tell us what, what does the score impact? Like, a lot of people say score, score, yeah. and then we hear about the beacon score, and then you got a regular mm -hmm. score. You have all these scores. What does that main important score count for? Like, why does it have to be so high? Got you. And that's so important because it, it, it really tells, I say anyway, a lot about who you are. Okay. So your credit, for an example, it tells like if you pay your bills on time, what's, if you're a responsible person. So that's the reason why a lot of jobs require it now. Also, every month when you pay your car insurance, it's based on your credit. So even though people might say, what's my car have to do with, you know, my credit? But at the end right. of the day, it tells what type of responsible person that you are as far as your credit. Do I not pay my bills and just push them to the side that means I'm not responsible so your credit tells a lot about yourself so to speak but why it's so important and what your score determines is once again every month when you pay your car insurance it's based on that if you want to go to get an apartment you want to go get a house it's going to be based on your credit I just had a young lady in Baltimore trying to get a government job they pulled her credit she couldn't get it so you want to make sure that once again that you're proactive on it but the higher your score then it's going to save you a lot of money meaning if you have a low score and you go to get a car Say you and I go to get a Lexus. You know, you would pay maybe twenty thousand for that Lexus if you have good credit. If I have bad credit, I might end up paying thirty thousand dollars for the same exact car. Every month when you pay your car insurance, if you have good credit, your car insurance might be a hundred dollars. For me, if I have bad credit, it might be a hundred and fifty. So we're just throwing money out the window because we're paying higher interest rates and we're paying for apartments when we can be owning a home. So that's what good credit does for you. And the higher your score, the more money you'll save into more things that you're able to get approved for. Okay. So credit yeah. scores mean a lot. And then yeah. a lot of people don't understand because I've heard some people like, what my credit got to do with this? What? But it has a lot to do mm -hmm. with it. It does. So with all that, how, what are some of the first steps or nuggets that you would tell somebody um, to get started? Like we know to pull it. We know to look right. at it. And then to, we also can call companies, but yes. Tell us about you and your company. Why do you choose this company and what makes y'all stand above the rest? Got you. And that's a that's so important because a lot of people do ask about other people that they went through and other companies. So why I stand by this one and what I love about this one is a couple different things. For one, we're rated number one in the credit repair industry. We also have an A-plus rating, you know, with the Better Business Bureau. And that is vital because it's even hard to get a C rating with them. And a lot of people don't understand that the Better Business Bureau when you have a rating with them, it comes from customers and consumers. We don't rate ourselves and the business doesn't rate us. It comes from customers. So that's important as well. So um, you just want to make sure that you are through someone of course, that is credible. So then whenever you say as far as getting started, of course, you want to pull your credit. And then once you pull your credit and you see that your score is low, there are some other things that you want to do as well. So you want to make sure that if you do have any credit cards or outstanding balances, that your balances are under a certain ratio. So they say keep your balances under 30 percent. So if you have credit cards that are still open, you want to make sure that you keep your balances under that 30 percent ratio. That will help. Now, what we do as far as credit repair is concerned 
learned to answer your question is we'll run a copy of your credit report and that's from all three credit bureaus and all of those little negative items you have on there medical bills repossessions bankruptcies child support it doesn't matter what's on there that's a myth when people say you can't get certain things off your credit you can get anything removed off of your credit so we'll pull a copy of your credit report and we go back and forth our company goes back and forth with the credit bureaus to get those items removed so sometimes we might send letters to them and they won't take it off the first set of letters but we go back and forth and we know the wording we know the laws we know what to say if you was to get a denial letter saying hey key, um, hey we're not going to take these items off you would just say you know what they're not going to take it off and I tried and you would give up we're not going to we're going to come back with another response and we're going to keep coming back and going back and forth so with us we know exactly what to say we know the wording we've been doing it for years we've removed thousands of items for customers so for us, that's what we do. We also help you build. So a lot of people don't realize that even if you get those negative items off of your credit, at the same time, part of your credit score is having history. So if you don't have any history, that's gonna only take your score, but so far as well. Wow. So we help you build and remove the negative items at the same time. And then it comes with identity theft protection. It comes with a living will, trust, and power of attorney. It comes with a lot of different services. So we're not just taking money and just removing negative items. We're making sure that you're financially sound and you get a one-on-one -on -one agent. So when you call us, you're not just calling customer service. You have to go through an agent such as myself, and we help you one-on-one. -on -one. So that's what I love about it, and that's how we're different than all the rest of the people that are out here, other companies. Not bashing them, but that's what makes us different and why I stand by ours. So it sounds like you and your company, y'all, partnership with the people and not just leave them out to dry. Yes, and that so is that so makes important. a difference. It does. Building relationships, everything is relationships. You know, you don't want to just be another number. So and that's it is. important because a mm -hmm. lot of people feel like another number mm -hmm. and then or they feel like they've been abandoned, left to dry because yes. they have to talk to the automated system and can't get through this uh -huh. and got questions and then they don't mm -hmm. see results. And yes, y'all stand by y'all work, y'all guarantee it. You've seen people start and uh -huh. clear it up and what's some of the most successful stories that you oh have for somebody that looked as if they couldn't get nothing right so the one that just always sticks out in my mind it just always sticks out is i had a guy and i was telling him last year to get his credit repaired and yeah i'm going to get it repaired and at the time of course he didn't need it so okay so this year the landlord that he was renting a house from was deciding to sell the house so at that time either he had to move out or he would have to apply for the house and buy it himself. Right. So now he's coming to me and he needs his credit repair. And I'm asking him, well, when are they selling the house? And he's like, soon. And I'm like, no, 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 because I told you last year to do it. And so, you know, we did end up putting him on a program. What blew my mind with him, and everyone is different, so I want to make sure that I put this out there. What blew my mind for him, and he was my most successful story, is he got on the program. We sent his first set of letters out, and within 45 days, his first set of letters went out. His results came back. His score went up 214 points. So that was like big and that was vital. He only had a few medical bills that didn't even total over a thousand dollars. So okay. that's my most successful story because a lot of people think that when your score is so low, you have repossessions and bankruptcies. He only had three medical bills and it's not based on the dollar amount either because it didn't even total over a thousand dollars. 45 days, 214 points. Now everyone is different, so I make sure that I tell people that. So that's why I tell people to be proactive. So don't call, you know, once your car is on the side of the road or your lease is up in three weeks because no, you, you know, it, like it won't. It is possible, but that is my that is my one that stands out. And he was very blessed, I would say, you know, with that because I told him, listen, I cannot guarantee you that by the time they're ready ready to sell it, that your score will be ready, but. He did get blessed in 214 points, his first set of letters. So he got the house? Yeah, he oh, did, sure. he did, he did. So now, actually, he's in the business, so he's helping other people. He just uh, sent me someone yesterday. I was like, hey, can you talk to him? They're trying to buy a house. So now he is paying it forward. So that's what I love about it as well. Because as soon as you have success and get your house, you're going to tell other people, and then they can buy homes, and then they can you know, fix theirs as well. And you can use your story as a success, so. See, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Mm -hmm. Look, this is how you give back to yes. the community. She helped one, now he's paying it for brought somebody in. 
that's what it's all about with the networking. Mm -hmm. So as y'all network, what do y'all do for the community? What what have you and your team do? Because I, yes. I I know you've connected with <laughs> us and did a book bag drive, and yes. you've been a part of so many things that Contagious uh -huh. here and now. The barber lounge do, yeah, y'all, we give back to the community all the time. And your team comes through. What are yes. some of the other things that y'all do? Because I see you all the time, girl. I am. I'm always <laughs> out and about. So um, a couple different things we do. One of the programs that I love the most is we have a program called the Youth Financial Literacy Network. So what that allows us to do is actually go into the schools and teach the schools of, and the students about credit. Credit is not taught in school. I was a high school math right. teacher out here in North Carolina, and we don't teach about credit in school. So we have an eight-week program, and we go into the classroom. We go once a week, and we teach the students books and everything is included. We teach the students about credit, and at the end of it, they actually get a $500, um, they get a $500, uh, what, what you want to call it, scholarship towards the classroom or towards oh. the school. They also get a pizza party, and that's just for allowing us to come in and be able to teach them and everything is on us. So that's one of the main things that we do. So a lot of us that are in the business actually go to the schools, do an eight-week program, we furnish everything, and we teach students about credit. But also, like you said, you had the book bag drive. Um, we just do so much. Uh, on Thanksgiving, we actually went out and fed the homeless. So we did that all Thanksgiving. So we have so much that we do. I actually was at a daycare um, down the street and went in there and was talking to some moms as far as getting them in home. So I've did that several times. So we are out everywhere in any way that we can give back. Then that's what we do because that's what it's about is paying it forward. So those are our main things that we do. We have to get into these schools and we have to teach these students. And that's amazing because they, they didn't have that when I was in school. And ain't nobody no, teaching. My all. mama taught me after she was in debt. And then she was like, baby, don't do this. So taking right. the time out to just teach the students. Wait, hold on. Do all the students get a $500 look gift certificate? No, it actually, yeah, well, the class that we teach. So the, the class that we go into. So if I decide that you're an eighth grade teacher and I come into your class, then your class gets it. You know, so the, the principal will decide if it'll go to the classroom or if it'll go to, you know, if they need something for the actual school. So oh, no, okay, because we got to clear that up because people right, be right, like, right, oh, right, wait, right. hold on, where she at? I want my child to be in that. <laughs> clear this yeah, up. Yeah, it does not go to the it's students. It's the whole, not yes, to the students. It goes we, back to the school. I was sure going to say my child, like, look, no, she no, 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 like, no, 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 no. <laughs> the kids don't get joking. money for learning about credit. <laughs> it goes back into the school. So whatever they need, they can use the $500 for whatever they need. It seemed like you get a yeah. joy out of this, Miss Star. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Going from the classroom and now, you know, teaching parents about it, I'm able to help more people. If I'm in a classroom with 20 students, you know, I feel the average parent has two to three kids, like let's just right. say give or take. You know, so if I can help a parent, they can, you know, teach their kids. They can break the cycle. They can become a homeowner and leave their kids something. So now I just always knew that, you know, I wanted to have a greater impact. So now instead of teaching in the classroom, now I can teach the parents and then the average parent has two or three kids so now I can reach way more people and then I'm able to be out and about and help the com community I'm not limited to just a classroom of a certain number of people but I still love my kids and so I'm still connected so I love that we have that school part because I can still do that teacher feel that I just absolutely love to do so yeah I'm excited I love what I do this is my passion it sounds yes. like it you sound like you get hyped doing this thing I do. but me knowing you personally and me knowing the career changed because like she told y'all first she used to teach for cms yes. what really promoted you and prompted you to make that sudden change because this is different like credit repair and right. building up people to do better and teaching them and being a teacher in high right. school what 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 prompted that career change the main thing was for one when i was teaching i was a high school math teacher so i was always into numbers but then when the opportunity did present itself and I saw it, it was already numbers based. So it wasn't something totally left field uh, where I started doing hair or something. It was already right. in the field that I did because I was already teaching and it was That's already true. math and numbers. So this was just an aspect that was missing out of teaching, but it's so vital and important. So we can teach numbers and equations and calculus and all of that. But when it comes time to being out in the real world, once our students graduate, then credit is important for them to get a apartment to get a car to apply for student loans uh, to apply for a cell phone whatever it is that they need so for me it was an easy transition because it was in the same realm it wasn't really anything different 
So, yeah, so that's what did it for me. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I yeah. just got to say, <laughs> let me tell you. So in the midst of all this credit repair and going here and going there, what do you do personally? Wow. How has this helped you personally as far as getting your credit and your life together? Like what steps are you on right now? Oh, wow. Because you got to practice what you preach. Girl, oh, you know? my goodness. Put your it, spotlight. It, yes, <laughs> it absolutely like it changed my life. You know, this is all that I do, so it has given me that financial freedom. My daughter's in her second year of college, you know, and we don't have to borrow student loans. So it gave me the financial freedom to help other people, but at the same time, since I'm out here helping other people, it has awarded me the time to be able to be out here with my daughter, with my family, be able to pour into other people. So for me, it has completely changed my life. There's no more punching the clock. There's no more nine to five. And I can be free and help as many people as possible. I felt I was limited with a nine to five. You know, I would go to work, get off work. I had my daughter and that was it. So we, I just felt like I needed to do something greater and better. So it changed my life. I have financial freedom now. I travel, you know, I just came back from a cruise. I went yeah. to she Mexico fun, and Bahamas. Was last year I went to Haiti, you know, just things that I didn't think was possible as far as traveling to different countries and having financial freedom and not working forever, clocking in, you know, doing a nine to five, it changed my life. So it gave me financial freedom, but it also put me in a position, I always say, you know, that is bigger than me. I'm just a vessel. Right. So it put me in a position to be able to pay it forward and to be able to help other people. So it changed my life, my family's life. Now I can financially, you know, help them. And like I said, my daughter is in school and we don't have to take out those student loans. And I don't have to, like you said, practice what you preach. I don't want her to get out of school and she's in student loan debt. Right. You know, and then now that's on her credit so that um you know it's it, it it just it's just changed a lot and just to be able to help other people do the same thing so it is definitely you know practice what you preach i you know i'm i'm free i'm financially free i don't have any worries my daughter and my family doesn't either anymore so I got to say, look, we're going to have to bring Miss Star back because I have, me and her have grown together. We've been through some ups and downs together. And yes. to see her, look, I want y'all to know more about her, her testimony. I got to bring her back. But <laughs> right now, as before we go on break, before we right. end it, what are some of the, some inspirational words that you would give to somebody yes. that is sitting there looking at this credit? They're sitting there mm -hmm. feeling like there is no hope and they're, they they waited till the last minute, right. you know, because I, I know that with what um, the society is going through, you, you have some people that wasn't proactive. Right. What is some encouraging words that you can give to them that it kind of give them a little hope to say, you know what? I got more time or I got right. another chance to do it again. Right. So that's what I would say. And that's exactly how I do look at what I do. I feel like it's a blessing. So when you go through that divorce and you have, you know, it um, ends up in bad credit or you have those medical bills because you lost your job. I look at it as, I look at it as a blessing. So, you know, if you did have to wait a couple years for it to naturally fall off or you did have to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars in the debt and the medical bills that are on your credit, you would be stuck. Mm -hmm. So this is a blessing. It gives you the chance to be able to start all over. So I would say, you know, this is a second chance. So get started. You know, I always tell people, thank I thank God not to get spiritual, but I thank God for credit repair because what if credit repair wasn't there? You can literally in a couple of months change your entire life and be able to go get a business loan and open up a business. You can go get the car that you want. You can go buy a home. It can change your life. So my words would be is to get started. What are you waiting for? You know, on time is late, so you don't want to wait until you need it. It's a blessing. It's changing lives. It has changed mine. It's changed my family's. So I would say get started. There's no reason to wait. Like, what are you waiting for? What if they do away with credit repair? Hopefully that they don't. But what if they did? So right. being as though it's here, look at it as a second chance. Make whatever sacrifices that you have to make. And if you financially say, I don't have the money, that's even more so of a reason that you need to be on it. Because you have extra money going out the window and higher interest, higher costs 
car insurance and maybe higher rents because you're paying for an apartment because you're not, you know, a homeowner. So if finances is a problem, you even more so need to be in it or look into the credit agent opportunity. I got into it, you know, looking for additional income. So no excuses, you know, excuses in life is always going to happen. Right. You just have to make sacrifices and you have to jump out there. And I promise you, I promise you, like, it will change your life. You just can't go wrong. How can you go wrong? It's going to open up so many doors and change your life. You can drive that fancy car that you wanted to drive. It's about credit. It's not about money. So you have to jump out there. You have to take a chance. Quit listening to the rumors. You know, get started. Yeah, so that would be my advice for anyone out there. So y'all got get her started. advice. Yes. Get started. Yes. It starts with you. Yep. You know how I, Kiki always say, it starts with you first. Mm -hmm. Then it trickles on out the door. So take the time out. If you're looking at your credit and right. you know that you need help, reach out. Y'all got the information yes. with Miss Star at the bottom of the screen. Yes, yes. Contact yes. her. She will help you take one step. And God will take two. You just got to take the first right, step. So right. if you make the call, Star can help you. If you don't call, she can't help you because I'm telling you now, <laughs> she's helping me. We're getting this together. I'm right. going to be a homeowner by next year. <laughs> Off rip. But Let's take the it. time out to start with you. Take the time out to invest in you. And take the time out to just be who you are, love you, and then everything else will flourish. It will. And we want to thank Miss Star for being you are with more us. Than welcome. I thank y'all for having me. This is so yes. important. We're going to bring her back. So, y'all know how we do. Check us out on the Community Spotlight with your girl Kiki. Ah. We're good.